Hello everyone and welcome to the air poll for the Meander Pack, which as you can see is actually we're going into the third generation. So of course we have Mayhem, our wolf who had the Deadless Challenge and succeeded with all four pups alive. Oh, and it is interesting to see that Havoc was the runt. He was definitely littler than his siblings and he got sick right at the end. So I think that can be more common for runts if I'm not mistaken, not 100% sure, but it definitely seems like it can be. Uh, but of course, Mayhem's parents are Moxie and Percival. Moxie had a challenge to only be able to hunt doe mule deer. It was definitely an interesting run, So, but she and Percival were able to make it through. A lot of their pups survived. We did lose a couple of eagles, but Mayhem was was one of those survivors and he of course is mates of malarkey here and the two of them had these four pups so we have anarchy we have calamity we have mischief and we have havoc who does have the runt stats now I'm changing up the way the challenges work a little bit. In Moxie's litter, we had all of the pups had their own challenge, but I feel like that lends itself more to picking based off the challenge versus picking based off the personality of the wolf. And I kind of like for people to be able to pick based off personality, stats, looks, whatever they want to be able to pick off of. And so what we're going to do is we will vote for the challenge and the air separately. Now you will be able to revisit previous challenges for wolves who already have one, like Moxie and Mayhem will have the option to do an accurate challenge for either one of them, as well as an entirely new challenge, which would then transfer to the air. It'll make more sense when you see it happen. It's hard to explain out loud, but we are going to be aging these pups up and just know for now don't worry they will have challenges but they're not going to have a challenge that's specific to them they'll just have more of their own personalities and likes and dislikes and you can find all of those notes some of the things that we observed about them when they were pups in a, this spreadsheet that's linked in the video description but i'm gonna go ahead we'll age these guys up and we'll take a look at them all right, and starting off the list, of course, we have Anarchy here, who has a coat we haven't seen too often. This is the 10M coat from the Founders Pack. This is one of the Yellowstone Wolves DLC coats, and it is a genetic gray one. It's actually one that we've seen in some of our series, too. This is actually the coat that Gilda has from the Elements Pack. Gilda's not my character, that's Rain's character, but if you've seen that series, then you've seen a wolf with this coat before. Um... And also for the eye color here, you can see that uh, she has this really bright eye color, which is very fitting for her, not gonna lie. She definitely had quite the vibrant personality. Uh, we can go ahead, we'll listen to her howls as well. Kind of a mid-range slash deeper one. And then for her secondary, Oh, that's a much higher pitched one. Now, as for her customizations, they can roll uh, naturally generating ones now. However, we also have the option to submit, you also have the option to submit ideas for customizations and a little story that goes with them if you're a member of Patreon, a sub on Twitch, or a member on the channel here. Uh, there is the option to suggest those ideas either on Patreon or in the Discord server, which is open to everyone over the age of 13 if you are a supporter of the channel. So if you want to be involved in that, definitely check out. There's a link to Patreon in the video description. Channel membership is here on YouTube. And of course, Twitch subs are on my Twitch. And those will have instructions on how to join the Discord server if you're interested in that as well. Um, but for the naturally generated customizations, let's take a look at those. I don't see any ear ones. No, it doesn't look like Anarchy got any ear customizations. And then for these... I don't think so. Oh, oh, wait a second. Wait a second. A little bit of a crooked tail. Okay. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps something grabbed her by the tail when she was uh, a little bit of an older juvenile, either roughhousing with her siblings and getting a little too rambunctious, or her tendency to wander off got her into trouble. Who knows at this point? Uh, it's hard to say, but maybe some of you guys have uh, your own ideas on that. 
As for her stats, she got that plus one strength and minus one stamina, but neutral speed and health. So all around, not an imbalanced wolf. She's got pretty neutral stats. Of course, she is the offspring of Mayhem and Malarkey of the Meander Pack, the 2F member of it, and uh, definitely quite the shining personality. She was known for getting into trouble, for facing off with an elk that was, I don't even know how many times her size, way more than 10 probably, <laughs> and uh, just in general running off and getting into trouble, usually uh, along with mischief. Very, very fitting names for these two, that is for sure. But that is Anarchy. Next up we have... Calamity. And oh, okay, interesting. She does have a great coat, but right away what I'm noticing is she actually has some mange. So she was a little bit sicklier as a pup. She was one of the ones who fell ill. I wonder if that uh, that ended up leading to her being just a little bit more sickly and winding up with a pretty bad case of mange here. Now, she does have this gray coat. This is the Life is Rough variant of the second, uh, uh, this in, from the second pack here, but I think it's, I want to say it's 925M because I think it has the less red. I always get that one mixed up with 859, or 920, I always get 925 and 859 mixed up, but I want to say it's 925 because I think that's the one that doesn't have as much red. And she has these very, very dark eyes as well. They're very deep brown. And uh, very, very pretty for sure. But let's go ahead. We'll also listen to her howls. That's a much deeper one. And then for her secondary. A much higher one. I think that's the same one as Anarchy too. So they kind of have that in common. Now, again, as for her customizations here, she can roll some natural ones, but if you have an idea you'd like to suggest and you're a supporter of the channel, you can do that either through Patreon or through the supporter Discord. You can find links to the Patreon in the video description. Channel membership is here on YouTube and Twitch subs are on Twitch. But let's take a look at her customizations. I don't see any ear ones, but I do see an obvious one that's not ear, which is the radio collar. Now, I don't know if she has any others? It's not looking like it, no. But she did get the radio collar, which is a pretty cool one to see. I guess the researchers wanted to keep track of this pack. As for her stats, she's got minus one strength, minus one stamina, but plus one speed and plus one health. So a little bit less balanced than Anarchy, but still no super extreme stat changes. And of course, she was the offspring of Mayhem and Malarkey, and the 3th member of the Meander Pack. And she was one of our sicklier pups, but uh, she did recover, she did survive, and all four pups actually made it through. But that is Calamity. Next up we have... Mischief, and oh my goodness, I think that's the Casanova coat. Yes, uh, kind of a fitting one because I seem to recall the original wolf that this coat is based off of was a bit of a troublemaker himself. Uh, this is from the Yellowstone Wolves DLC as well, the Hall of Fame 302 Casanova coat. Uh, she got these really deep brown eyes as well. I think even darker than Calamity's perhaps. Very, very pretty for sure. And then this is a black coat too. I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll listen to her howls as well. Quite a stunning wolf for sure. Bit of a higher pitched one there, and then for secondary. Oh wow, that one's even higher pitched. Now, as for customizations, again, we'll see what she has rolled naturally, if anything, but you can su suggest the ideas for customizations, a little story that could go with them on Patreon or through the Discord server. If you're a member of Patreon, uh, sub a subscribed on Twitch or a member here on the YouTube channel. But I don't think she has anything obvious for her ears. It doesn't look like it, no. But as for these, everything's looking pretty normal. Yep, it looks like she has no customization. So just the pretty standard body here. As for her stats, she's got plus two strength, but minus one stamina and minus one health with neutral speed. So a little bit, we're getting progressively more imbalanced the further down this list we go. It feels like that's kind of funny. 
And of course, she is the offspring of Mayhem and Malarkey, the 4F member of the Meander Pack, and known for getting into trouble with Anarchy. She was one of the pups who always was off disappearing, causing trouble, and sometimes finding trouble even if it wasn't of her own creation. But that is mischief, and last but not least we have... Havoc, who is our little runt here. Well, he's not so little, actually. He's kind of a bigger wolf, he looks like. Uh, but he's got the 911 M coat here, the black from the Blacktail Deer Plateau pack. This is one of the default ones, and it is a gray coat, despite being a little bit darker in appearance. Very pretty, uh, with these kind of greeny golden eyes as well. Definitely, definitely quite a look. He kind of reminds me a lot of Terrell, our original patriarch, way back from the Origin pack. Uh, which is actually not connected to this line at all. This one's totally different, but it's funny to see that uh, coat combination with an eye color combination pop up again. But we'll go ahead and listen to his howls. Ooh, he's got that classic deeper one. Once again, reminiscent of the Origin pack. And then for his secondary... Once again, a much higher one, and I think that one, three of the four pups actually rolled that particular howl. That's pretty interesting to see it popping up between so many of the siblings. Uh, now we will look through his customizations here, but of course, if you are a supporter of the channel on Patreon, YouTube members, or Twitch subs, then you can suggest ideas for that and a little story to go with it, either on the Patreon or in the Discord server if you're over 13 and a member of that. But we'll see if he rolled any natural ones. I'm not sure if he did. I'm not seeing any obvious ones. No, it looks like nothing for his ears. And as for these, they're all looking pretty normal. Yeah, it seems like just like Calamity, he's got some the pretty a pretty normal uh, no customizations here. As for his stats, he is a runt, so he has minus one strength, minus two stamina, and minus one speed. So uh, all a little bit lower than average. He didn't get any that were boosted. Uh, they're all just a little bit uh, a little bit on the lower side. But his health is actually his highest stat, so I wonder if that helped him out with his illness because he did recover at five percent right before reaching twenty pounds. He is, of course, also the offspring of Mayhem and Malarkey, the two M member of the Meander Pack. And uh, as noted, he did get sick right at the end, but fortunately managed to pull through, not by reaching 20 pounds and therefore being able to shake the illness off, but he actually did officially recover at 19.9 with 5% health remaining, so he gave us a bit of a scare, but he turned out all right. But those are the pups of the Meander Pack. Now again, they will not have challenges assigned to them. They will be picking up the next challenge. We'll be voting for that separately from the wolves. Uh, unless you guys want to see an earlier challenge replayed on Accurate. Uh, there will be a poll for that eventually, but probably not before we pick the air here. So... Uh, you will be able to find a poll for the air in the video description, though, as well as a link to that spreadsheet where you can more easily view what the um, what the uh, what the different pups are and a uh, detailed little spreadsheet of their stats and any notes we observed about or any notes about them that we observed during the litter. But that's going to be it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.